another trying new products, testing new products video. I have a lot of stuff here. I have a range of drugstore and high-end products here, a ton of new releases, and also I'm trying a new face oil. This is from L'Occitane. It is the Immortal Divine Youth Face Oil. So not only does it help fight against the visible signs of aging it's got great anti-aging properties in it but it also is very lightweight it's not greasy it's not oily it's a product that you can use directly before you use your makeup it's not an oil that you have to use at night because it's going to make your skin greasy and oily feeling very lightweight silky texture it really does blend and melt into the skin so nicely today i partnered with l'occitane so i could show you guys how the oil applies how it just melts into the skin it's not heavy or greasy it's a product you can use right before you apply your makeup and it's not going to make you have that greasy heavy feel that a lot of oils do also they are giving away a free sample to anyone who's interested it'll be linked in the description box below you just click on that link and you'll get a free sample of the divine youth oil so if you are new welcome to my channel my name is cassie i hope you enjoy this video i hope you enjoy this tutorial and you decide to stay a while by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave so now let's get into the first impressions the first product we're going to try is this youth oil it is from l'occitane it is their immortal divine youth oil it's an essential oil that helps improve the skin's ability to fight the effects of environmental aggressions which are known to accelerate skin aging the divine youth oil is an ultra concentrated multi-usage skincare product that helps fight against visible signs of aging it's light silky texture with a non-oily finish melts gently into the skin to improve the benefits of our daily youth products over time the skin appears nourished and more radiant the formula helps reduce Visibly reduce the appearance of wrinkles and helps your skin feel firmer and more elastic. I'm so excited to try this. I am a huge skincare buff. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very beautiful little glass um, bottle. And then it is one of those little pump tops. So you just kind of pump it and you'll pull it out and it'll be a little dropper. So it's supposed to be lightweight on the skin and kind of melt right into your skin. So I'm just going to take a couple of drops of that and I'm going to apply that all over my face. And it just, it smells really nice. It's not like a perfumey smell. It's almost like slightly floral, herbally scent. So L'Occitane was nice enough to give my subscribers a free sample of the Divine Youth Oil. There'll be a link down in the description box below. You can just click on that and it will tell you all about how to get your free sample. Thank you L'Occitane for partnering with me in this video and giving my subscribers the opportunity to try this oil because it feels so good. So you can see like it kind of gives a glow, but I don't have like a greasy feeling to my skin, which I really like. And I'm a huge fan of oils, beauty oils. I love adding them into my skincare regimen. And I usually do apply oils in the morning before I do my makeup. And so I figured I'd apply this one today. And it feels really nice. You can see I have a glow, but it's not greasy. It's not oily. It's very, very lightweight. I'm sure this is a product that if you like to add oils into your foundation, um, your moisturizers, your primers, anything like that, this would probably be a good one because it's not thick and heavy um, or really greasy feeling. So I feel like it will melt really nicely with those products. I know it's quite popular lately to mix some sort of beauty oil or facial oil in with your foundation. And so, all right, so while we let this kind of just sit on our skin, we're gonna go to our eyes. I've already primed my eyes with my Painterly Paint Pot, and we're gonna go in with the Just Peachy Palette. This is all mattes from Too Faced. I had this on in my Fenty Beauty review that I just posted, and you all wanted to see a tutorial, so I'm going to, I don't know if I'm gonna recreate that exact look, but I'm gonna create something fun. Um, I have used this once. It smells like peaches. It's delightful. All right, so this is a full matte palette. You get a nice range of colors. I love that there's two brow bone colors, tons of transition shades, a couple of fun, like, you know, colorful colors, and then some darker colors to kind of deepen up that outer V. I'm gonna start off with peaches and cream, which is the light peach color in the palette. And I'm going to blend that into the crease. Now, some people do not like the peach scent. They feel like it's really artificially. I mean, this one smells quite peachy. I don't mind it. We'll see when we get to the primer and the foundation if it bothers me, but in the eyeshadow, it doesn't really bother me too much. I can't smell it, you know, once it's on my eyes. I just smell it when I first open up the palette. 
We're going to deepen it up a little bit with this color Fresh Picked. And it's a combination of little circles and then windshield wiper motions. We're gonna go in with Peach Cobbler, which is just a little bit deeper. I just love these shades. Some of them are like pretty similar, like this row um, kind of ends up being pretty similar like the transition shades. They just vary slightly, but I really like them. And we're going to just work this into a crease. And I'm taking this one in just a little bit farther, this darker color. Taking that a little bit closer into that inner corner. Blend this outer part here. with peach sangria which is this really pretty kind of reddish burgundy color it's more pinky purple than it is peach but it's very very pretty and start working this on the lid I really was like praying that I would get the PR package for this collection because there's so many products that I want to try and I hadn't gotten anything in, so I was like, I just want to try these so bad. So I went to Sephora and bought them. And um, I'm so excited to see how they work. This is the only thing that I've used. This palette I have used once, but I haven't tried the foundation or the primer. And then they didn't have any of the blushes or lipsticks or bronzer or highlight at my Sephora. So I didn't get to pick those up, but... I thought we'd start with this and see how it goes. To me, Too Faced palettes are very, very hit or miss. Like some of them I just like love. I'm gonna take a little bit of Peach Meringue and Peach Butter, which are the two lighter colors. Um, some of them I really like, and then some of them I just feel like they just don't, I don't know, they like blend together and they just tend to look a little bit muddy on me. What is your favorite Too Faced palette? Let me know down in the comments below. This is so pretty. It's like a fiery red eye. It's pretty. A little bit of Just Right, which is that deeper plum color. And we're gonna work this on the outer corner here. This definitely doesn't have a lot of fallout, which I appreciate. There's like very, very minimal fallout. And these are so nice. They are so like wispy feeling. Like I really like these. They applied super easily. The band was really nice and flexible. I'm digging these lashes. Step, I did put a tiny bit of liner on my waterline because I hate showing that in videos because it grosses me out watching other people do it. But I have like a weird phobia with eyes. So I just use the LA Girl Ultimate Eye. I used this in another Get Ready With Me, but I think I used the nude one. Like the nude one, this one, I'm not so sure. The color is like a little bit off for me. So and this is the Primed and Peachy by Too Faced Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer infused with peach and sweet fig cream. And the packaging, of course, is adorable. It comes in a little like pump, you know, pump tube. I really love the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. It's one of my holy grails. So I'm hoping I really love this one as well. And uh, this one has, how much product is in here? 1.35 fluid ounces. Oh, it's peach toned. And I mean, I guess it's cooling, but I feel like most of the time I put primer on my skin, like it has a cool feeling to it. Like just the product itself is cool, but I don't know, everyone says that it's cooling. I feel like it feels like every other temperature of primer. <laughs> uh, I definitely think I got way too much though. I did like a pump and a half because the first pump was just, I didn't think was gonna be enough. So you definitely just need, you know, one pump. And it smooths over the skin really nicely. I feel like it has a very, very subtle peach scent. Like I don't notice that it's like over the top peachy smelling oil-free 14-hour wear oil controlling photo friendly which is great especially for the kind of work that I do uh, and I got the shade natural beige so we'll see how that works it says it's transfer resistant and medium coverage same kind of packaging as the primer uh, so make sure you don't get those mixed up when you go to 
get the product at the store. Um, it is a little bit of a thicker but slightly runny foundation. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Complexion Sponge because I'm obsessed with this as well. And I think this will be a good match because I do have self tanner on. So it's blending in really nicely. Uh, it might be a little bit dark actually. It's so hard to tell at Sephora because the lighting is like so off in the Sephora stores. At least the one in J our JCPenney's, like half the time I'll get a foundation and it will look like it's the right one and then I'll get home and try to use it and the color is so off once I get in front of like natural light or my beauty lights. This one definitely looked like it was a little bit lighter than my self tan, which is why I got it. Cause I'm like, oh, well my self tan will fade and this will fit perfect, but definitely feel like it's just a bit dark. So we'll have to work with that. I mean, it's covered quite a bit. I feel like a medium to full coverage foundation. It blends really nicely on the skin. I'm gonna pull my mirror up a little closer so I can see. It looks really nice on the skin. Um, first impressions, like if I had to choose between this or the Fenty one, I like the Fenty one a, a bit better, um, but this still looks really pretty. Like it doesn't look heavy or thick, which is really nice. And it doesn't feel like a tight matte, which is great. So I'm gonna go in and conceal my under eyes. I'm using my favorite Infallible Pro Glow. I'm gonna blend this out and be right back. This is my Anastasia Fawn Contour Stick. I'm obsessed with this. This one's really cool tone and the Fenty Beauty one was also very cool tone. I just feel like this one blends so much better on my skin than the Fenty one. I felt like the Fenty one was like, left this like weird greasy residue on my skin that I didn't like. And it just, this just blends out so nicely. When I swatched this next to the Fenty Beauty, I think it's like amber. The color was really similar, but I just feel like the way that this blends into my skin is just so much nicer and the consistency of it is a little different. So I feel like I don't get that weird greasy look to my skin that I was getting with the Fenty Beauty one. And I did, this is the Catrice Sun Glow Matte Bronzer. I've never used this, uh, but it looks really pretty. The color looks really nice. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't feel like it's overly warm toned. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to use this brush from Japanesque. It's like very similar. Ooh, that makes a lot of It's very similar to like the look of the NARS one, but a lot cheaper. I ended up buying two of them. Or maybe they were two separate ones. One was like blush and one was something else. I think they're the same brush though. But I got one for bronzer and one for blush. Okay, I really, really like this bronzer. Like I love the tone of it. It's like not too cool, it's not too warm. Yeah, this is nice. And it blends really, really pretty. All right, for my blush, I'm gonna use this little Mali Duo. This is the Effortless Airbrush in Effortless Peach and Pure Light Highlighter. You can get this at Ulta, that's where I got it. So really pretty peach color, and then this gorgeous highlight. So let's give this one a go. Peach color. These are like the baked gelée type products. And I've had this for a while, but I've never used it. I think I swatched it and then forgot that I had it. Like I put it away in a drawer and forgot that I owned it. And so when I was looking for a blush to use today, I was like, ah, I don't know if I've ever used that. Oh, it's really pretty. It definitely has like that glow to it. So if you don't like glowy bronzers with a sheen, you won't like this. All right, let's use that highlighter. It's a really pretty kind of golden color. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That is very, very pretty and very metallic. It like looks like a like I wet it and I didn't. Holy crap. That is definitely a metallic highlight. So if you like to glow and be seen from outer space, this is the highlight for you. Holy mackerel, was not expecting that. 
Let's finish up with the eyes and then we'll move on to the lips. We're gonna go back into our Just Peachy palette and let's take the color Just Ripe, which is the darkest plum shade. And we're going to smudge that on the lower lash line. Get that bright, bright peach called Peach Punch and blend it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of Just Peachy, which is a really light peach in the palette. I'm gonna soften this up right here. Just use the highlight color and pop that just in the inner corner. Wow, it's so pretty. Use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm gonna wipe off a lot of the excess though because we don't want too much on the lower lashes. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Benefit Gimme Brow in shade three. And I'm just going to use this to kind of amp them up just a tad. Still need to go in for my six week touch up next week for my brows. I'm so excited because I'm gonna have to do them just a bit thicker and darker because they've faded quite a bit to a little bit lighter than my natural brow color. So I like it because it still gives me a guide to fill in my brows and I definitely feel like they look way better than they did before, but they just aren't quite complete. So the six week touch up should just finalize everything and make them look really good. This one is from LA Girl, really like these. This is the nonstop nude. There, the color is a nonstop nude. Oh, this is like a perfect nude color for my skin tone. Yeah, I really like this. It's a tad bit drier than like a ColourPop lip liner, but it's really nice. Is that what it's called? Beach Babe. Beach Babe. Oh yeah, these are so nice. I bought quite a few of these, and I put them in my like little bin of like trying new products. Totally forgot I had them. Gosh, that is such a gorgeous nude. This is like the perfect nude for my skin tone. All right, let's amp it up just a bit. This might nude it out too much, but these are the Lacquer Lip Acrylic Lip Varnish from Laura Mercier. This is in Risqué. It's like really light. That might be too nude. But let's see. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, guys, that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you tried any of these products, let me know down in the comments below. So don't forget to check the description box if you guys are interested in trying out a free sample of the L'Occitane Immortal Divine Youth Oil. It'll be down in the description box. Right, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.